I have such a treat for you guys today. I am in a $5,499,000 home, US dollar home, almost 14,000 square feet. You have five bedrooms here with seven and two half bathrooms right ocean front i mean you have views from every single room this home is absolutely spectacular you've got a couple of different options here you can use this all as one beautiful villa or you can use this as an investment property you can use the villa rent it out as one whole villa and you live in the penthouse on its own or you can use this as an entire house like you can rent everything out as well not even live here because you have a whole separate entrance upstairs for the penthouse or you can use this as a boutique hotel because all of the different suites are magnificent so big and they all have private bathrooms so let's go check this property out stay tuned till the end i'm going to show you how you can find more information out if you want to do a person a personal showing or a virtual showing um, look in the design in the details down below you can see more information about this house as well uh, and make sure you subscribe to my channel i do about two to three walkthroughs a week of properties that are for sale on the market here in vallarta make sure you click like and subscribe to my channel because if you guys love to see these videos this is how i can continue to do um make these videos for you guys all right so now that you've clicked like and subscribe let's get into this house stay tuned till the end so you can find more information out about this and i'm also going to post some photos too all right let's go check it out welcome to the outside of via bahia you are going to be off the 200 but once you get inside it's totally quiet but you know i always like to give you guys a view of what everything looks like 360 degree view before you even enter inside as you can see there is an open house here today so you might see some people walking around in the video it's all because they are here to view this absolutely outstanding property now that you guys have had seen the exterior let's get inside all right let's enter into this absolutely beautiful space and as you can see upon your entry you already have some amazing finishes here you have the tile roof with the wood beams a beautiful, beautiful fountain with one of the bronze statues all over, very Vallarta, with the cupola here, an artisan brick cupola. If we go off to the right-hand side, this is an entrance that's gonna take you up to the penthouse. You can also take the elevator up to the penthouse, go down to the main living. You have one, two bedrooms up here and a garage. All right, so as we're gonna enter in, let's just take a look first at the garage. You do have all secure parking in here, and as you can see, it's a very beautiful, maintained. You have two cars worth of parking here. Everything is nice and electric. Stepping from there, let's go into one of the guest suites here. This guest suite is called the Vera Cruz Suite. So they are using this as a rental property. You can rent these suites out individually. You can rent the entire villa. You're gonna see when we get to the penthouse, you totally can have two separate houses because the penthouse is an actual pit house. The entire top of this entire um, development is all just one extra living space. You've got a huge, huge, huge bedroom here. This is a king bed. As you can see, you have big stones of marble here. The view is absolutely incredible. Nice, tall ceilings with the wood beams. I mean, this place just shows like a dream. You feel like you're more in a resort than you are in a bedroom. And these are the beautiful views. Thank you, Jesus, we have a blue sky today. It's been gray here lately. So I was like so excited when I walked out today to see we've got gorgeous blue skies. Everything is just prettier when it's nice and blue. You get to see our beautiful tropical climate here mixing with the mountains. You do have a covered patio over here and I love how they did a wraparound expansive terrace. If you wanted to come out here in the morning, open everything up, listen to the sounds of the waves and the birds all your view now let's get into the bathroom all of these bedrooms have ensuite bathrooms here i mean just the in the inlay of the different pieces of marble with the granite before you even get into your bathroom all of these finishes are absolutely phenomenal i love the mix of materials all of these mirrors even you have these gigantic size mirrors with these frames around them you're going to see these beautiful um, artisan brick cupolas all over and this one as you can see even has like an extra design detail around the ceiling fan they just have spared no expenses when they were making 
this project. It is one of a kind property here. And if you're looking for luxury, this is really where you wanna be. As you saw, they did have a safe here. So if you did wanna use this as a bed and breakfast or a boutique hotel, there's nothing for you to do except for just take over the crew that they already have. Floor to ceiling, stone here. All of the bathrooms have bidets and the views just don't stop. Everywhere that you go, you have absolutely phenomenal views. It's your shower stall. I can't imagine I would ever keep any of these doors closed. I mean, it's just like a photograph from every view. That's our um, Los Arcos, our national park that you can see down there. All right, so this is the first suite that you're gonna see. Let's now walk across the way to take a look at the second villa, or the second suite. Everything is included in the sale. Literally, all you have to do is just hire the property managers, and I'm sure that this villa is gonna come with staff that's probably worked here forever, and you'll just really just take over the crew that they have. Now, don't quote me on that, it's not exact, but usually that's what happens in these kind of situations. All right, so this is the Mitchell Khan suite. Again, the design detail, look at the door. This is like a 3D image here. It's just absolutely beautiful. So you walk in, I love how they have just these great entries here. And you're walking into another beautiful suite with the tall ceilings. I mean, the tropical hardwood, you have lots of storage here. Beautiful views of the ocean. Now this is if you have a couple of kids or you wanted to come, um, maybe you don't sleep with your husband because he snores. You've got two beautiful beds here. These look like they are queen size beds. So you can just get an idea of the space. This is a beautiful bathroom, kind of similar to the one that we just saw. You have the nice grand size mirror, another beautiful cupola, nice size bathroom with your toilet and the shower in the same space. All right, so as we walked in, we saw you have two suites on this floor, the entrance to the penthouse, and then you have the entrance to the garage. Let's make our way downstairs now. And even just before you go down, I just wanted to take a mention, look at this medallion here in the middle of the um, cased windows that have the Cantera casing on this. I mean, this is absolutely beautiful. The size of this light, you have all inlaid stone here as you're coming down. So it's kind of got like, very resort style living, I would say. That's literally what this feels like. Like you feel like you are in a beautiful tropical resort. Now this is where the main living happens. When you come on to this lower level, you have just kind of like a extra seating area here. Canoe. Now all of this is off of the El Sol Suite. So if you are staying in the El Sol Suite, you almost have your own private entry. And then you do have a wraparound terrace. We'll get to that in just a sec, but let's get into the design details of the bedroom here. Again, you have two beds in here, a nice seating area. All of these rooms are so entirely spacious. I mean, it's almost like you could have an apartment in the size of just these bedrooms. All of the design details are just so well thought out. I wanna to mention too, you don't have tracks in the floor. You literally, it's, it's dented in, so you don't have anything to step over. All the glass is like accordion glass doors that easily slide open. Give you a quick view of the downstairs pool. And wait until we get up into the penthouse. You have your own private pool up there even. Again, the walk around balcony. We're able to see, just give you some different views of the house. We'll get down to that level in just a few. Two more bedrooms up here, so I was wrong. So you're, the first level, you've got two bedrooms. The second level, you have two bedrooms. And then the main living will be on the pool level where we'll see the beautiful kitchen and um, the living space down there. So, you've got so many levels and you've got almost 
14,000 square feet. It's kind of easy to get turned around in here. All right, now we're gonna check out the Hacienda Suite. Now, if you wanted to use this as uh, like a, a main suite on the ground or like part of the villa, this would kind of be that. This is almost like the primary suite of all of the villas because as you can see, you have a beautiful wardrobe here, his and hers wardrobe. Then you get into double sink vanity on one side with, I mean, just look at how they've even encased, this is like a metal here, how they've even encased the, um, the sink fixtures. It's all part of the, the wall. Another little mini cupola in here. And I also like how they have the cantera, the, um, the cantera all around the mini cupola. It's just these little design details that are just, you know that they're going the extra mile with everything. A nice vanity here. And I wanted to mention this flooring in here also. These are also the design details that are so beautiful. I mean, you've got the granite mixed with the stone, mixed with the marble. Coming into the bathroom, you have more. I love these design details. Again, floor to ceiling, tile, the way they've positioned all of the marble on the walls. I mean, I am dying over all of this. Nice bench in the shower. Okay, so now that you've seen the wardrobe, both the bathroom and the closet, let's get into this bedroom. Look at this bed. So you have a four poster bed that they also went and put another casing along the top. Beautiful mirror on this side, your bedside table, a seating area, and you're just hanging out here looking at this gorgeous view. get out to the view in just a sec. I wanted to give you another view of this bed. They did a workstation here, which if you open those um, doors, this also has views to go out to the outside. But for if you're working in here, maybe you wanted it to be a little bit darker, you can always close those shades. And we'll make our way out to this covered patio. View. I love how all of the patios are covered too because when you are here in our rainy season, which is like our summer season, to watch the storms roll in from here has to be absolutely magnificent. And to watch the lightning shows that happen. I mean, you're also seeing so much wildlife here. We've got the whales in town now, the manta rays that go by, so much wildlife here for, um, for the ocean that you can just come out here and chill and see as well. Okay, so now that we have seen four of the primaries, I'm gonna get down into the main living. So now we're gonna head over to the living room, dining room, kitchen area, and then we'll do the pool, and then we'll do the penthouse. So again, as you're coming down the stairs, you have the beautiful stone wall here with these nice tall lanterns. And welcome to your primary living space. So if you were to walk down, you always have the option of taking the elevator to all the different levels that they have here. I mean, look at this furniture. This is hand-carved furniture. You have a half bath downstairs, five bedrooms with seven and two half bathrooms. I love, again, the cupolas and the bathrooms. Can't get over that design detail. And then they even did in the inlay, and here you have the hand-painted tiles. This is when you have like Mexican style meets ultimate luxury. I mean, this is a stone here for this entire piece that sits where this um, for the sink is on your countertop for the sink. These are just the little design details that when you're spending this much money, you expect to see these little things, right? These design details that you're just not gonna find in any other place. So you have open concept here. This is your living room, number one. Living room number two. So if, again, think if you're having a bed and breakfast or a boutique hotel, you have lots of different areas that you can hang out at. If you're thinking of this as a primary resident and you like to entertain, you can have your side of the family and your spouse's side of the family here and everybody has somewhere that they can hang out at and everyone's not running into each other. With almost 14,000 square feet, I would hope that you would have all these grand spaces. And you can see this opens up to an expansive deck overlooking a 
beautiful pool. The pool kind of has like this rainbow colored um, mosaic tiles. So it has a really different look. Usually like it's got a darker look to it, but it's not black. That's what's so cool. And so it has like this rainbow effect, shimmer effect going on. You've got the jacuzzi with the same type of finish there. Show you a view of the entire house here from this side. You also have an outdoor kitchen here. And the chef's kitchen, guys. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if you have enough money to buy something like this that you would even cook because there is someone in here right now taking care of all of that. But wait until you get into this kitchen because if you cook, everything in this is what you would want to have. So you see you've got a complete outdoor kitchen here. There are wine fridges, like hibachi style grills, um, all different kinds of stuff there for your outdoor kitchen. This leads you to the service quarters. I'm gonna show you that in a second because if you have staff, they can literally enter in from the front of the house. There's a whole separate staircase um, on this side of the house where the kitchen is, where you wouldn't even have to see them at all. They're literally just coming and going from their own um, from their own uh, entries. So you can see here, this is a different kind of cupola here. It's got all these different arches in the ceiling. Just the design detail, hand carved wood with the granite stone on top. All the appliances in here are sub-zero. You've got a side-by-side sub-zero refrigerator and um, freezer there. A hood that goes over your beautiful professional Viking stove top. Again, just the hand carved details here in the center island. Absolutely phenomenal. And you also have down here where you've obviously a place that's this big, you'll be able to see everything. You've got top notch security here as well. A nice wine fridge. I'm going to take you into the pantry next. nice coffee station on your way coming into the pantry and this is more a service area so you do have a bodega on one side a pantry here on the other side and remember when I was telling you that you do have service quarters so when you're coming in from the garage there is a separate area that takes you straight from the garage down all the levels of this house and then this is where they've got extra laundry and things down here but so your staff really has their own entry and exit and then they can come either from the pantry or they exit here and now they're taking you down um, to the pool area. You also have beach access. There's not a beach, but I wanna show you one thing. Let's say that you wanted to go down, you like snorkeling or paddle boarding, anything like that. So you're coming right off the kitchen or the outdoor area. You're gonna take these stairs down and then I'm gonna walk along the side so you can kind of see that you do have entry here if you um, did want to get into the ocean like I love snorkeling so you take the stairs there's a little path see it connects here a little path goes all the way down and then as you can see here you have a little entrance so all of this it, it's kind of hard to see because everything is is uh, the same color as stone but it's all poured and flat there so you can enter into the ocean there and then go snorkeling go paddleboarding you really have lots of different options so this is the entire house guys now you have literally seen everything let me just show you what this looks like from the outside four levels of living here let's now get into the penthouse all right guys welcome to the penthouse you actually have two different ways you can get in here you can take the stairs from down below or you can take the elevator and this is more than just a penthouse honey this is a penthouse you can live here this is more than just a bedroom. So one of the options that you can have is if you wanted to use downstairs as a business, you can totally rent that out and make an amazing bed and breakfast, a little boutique hotel, rent it out as a villa. But as you see, you can literally come up here. You have open concept living. I love how you have all of this white onyx into the kitchen. I mean, this place has literally everything that you need. And let's just say that you did own this as a house. You not only have your own beautiful chef's kitchen in here, but guys, check this out. So you have, if this was closed, this entire wall just looks like a wall of cabinets. 
then you enter inside and in here you have a whole separate quarters for your service staff they have you know can come back in here get your laundry done ah, this is so cool see this door here it looks like there's nothing here it's just a part of the kitchen let's open this up and inside here, you have your own private air conditioned gym. This gym also leads to the bedroom. So you have two points of entry for this gym. In my opinion, you could even kind of make this like a little secret hideaway because you wouldn't even know that it's there. So close this back up and you literally have a completely hidden room. Alrighty guys, so let's make our way back so you can see the rest of this absolutely phenomenal penthouse. You have high ceilings in here. I like how when you look all the way up, you have the tile roof with the wooden beams. Literally no expense was spared in this entire home. The finishes here, the mix of materials here, how grand the spaces are. I think I could make this probably like a three hour long video if I just sat and talked about all of the details that this house has. I mean, it's absolutely stunning. Even look at this beautiful fireplace. This is an indoor outdoor fireplace. You can enjoy this sitting here at night as you see complete indoor outdoor living slide all of the doors open you have a completely private terrace with an infinity edge pool a covered area so you can come out here and lounge and you just have the most incredible views of the entire bay here i mean this is south shore living conscious genus living at its finest you just don't see things like this this is absolutely spectacular give you an entire view. Let you see this beautiful penthouse from a different angle. Now let's make our way into the bedroom that, that you've seen. We have open concept living room, kitchen, dining room. Another grand study here and these cupolas. I just can't get over all of these beautiful brick artisan um, cupolas here in the ceiling this just feels like luxury when you're in here so you can set it up as a study he's got it set up as a media room you have the dope the dark tropical hardwood here every inch of this place has been thoughtfully um, designed look at the doors you even see here you have like the design in the door so let's get into the primary bedroom now I mean, look at the view, guys. You have a corner view here. He's got a little workstation set up. Again, very tall ceilings, this entire house with the tile roof, with the wood beams, the wood details here. This is a very masculine style feel. You can see the huge slabs of marble for the flooring. Every inch of this place is so beautiful. I mean, you can just be amazed all day. So you do have a covered patio out here. And you have the ability, as you see, to take away the entire wall. So the ceiling just kind of cantilevers here so that when you are hanging out in your bedroom, show you all the views, this is what you're waking up to. The waves just crashing, the jungle. You are in paradise here take you through the bedroom. This is a king size bed, just to give you an idea of the size of the space. And the owner does live here, so he just occupies this space here. He's got his wardrobe closed. Oh, actually, no, this is the entrance to take you back to the gym that we were just in. And you wouldn't even know that there was another door there, because as you see, the door was behind the glass panels. Absolutely phenomenal. All right, so that's where you would get into that little hidden gym. Then you have your double sink vanity here. I just love all of the design. Look at the even the trim on the mirror here. Another little mini cupola. This one has um, the Katera around it. And then you get into the wardrobe. And I like how he keeps these doors locked or shut because he has an air conditioner in here so that you're able to keep all of your um, belongings without having all the moisture in there. So he probably just keeps this on the dry setting, but I mean, this is absolutely immaculate, guys. 
I have not been in a place that is this detailed, this thought after. You have a ladder there so you can reach the very top of your suitcases, more um, storage here. All right, so now that we've made our way through the bedroom, we're now going to pop down to the, um, the downstairs so you can take a look at that. One thing I did want to mention before we pop downstairs is there is a hidden wine cellar in here, climate controlled as well. So you come off of your kitchen and you can see here you have a whole climate controlled um, wine cellar in here and the guy has really good taste. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, so now that you guys have seen this absolutely incredible house, let's get into the details one more time. The asking price is $5,499,000. You have almost 14,000 square feet of living here, five bedrooms with seven and two half bathrooms. Look in the description down below if you want to find more information out about this beautiful villa, how you can contact me if you'd like to do it in person or a virtual showing. I'm happy to set that up for you. I know that you did click like and subscribe to my channel, guys. This helps me out. Please make sure that you do that for me um, so I can continue to show you all these absolutely incredible properties. That is my time. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. We'll catch you at the next one. Bye guys. Peace.